Okay, so the pinwheel is kind of like we're stretching really good, but we're keeping it very flat behind us. It's almost like you're just taking a stretch, but your staff is spinning behind you. Now, the amount of rotations and the stretch really is up to you. There's a lot of variations to this move. Essentially, though, what you want to think about, and I'm just going to show you a base idea of a pinwheel, is that you grab it from the bottom, you stretch very, very tight, and you grab it at the top. How many rotations do you make? Well, that's actually up to you. You can actually feel it out, and there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of small variations of this. I'm just going to show you a basic, which is that no matter how many rotations that you put, like this has more rotations, uh, no matter how many rotations you put, you just simply grab it at the top and at the bottom. What you want is flat planes though. So when you're practicing this move, first start with your back very close to the wall. And the reason for that is because usually when your hand gets up to right about here, you're not used to doing a pinwheel. You're, you're probably going to spin it more this direction or it'll come at some diagonal angle. Uh, that's what I've noticed the most. So if you use the wall, you definitely, you can even watch it, move it very slowly and just make sure that it stays very parallel with the wall the whole time. Like that. Do it nice and slowly to start. So up and over. And you got your pinwheel. Like so. Okay, now, like I said, some people may wonder, well, how many rotations do you do? And like I said, that's really up to you. As I'm stretching, I could give an extra rotation, but I just, the, the way that I'm going to grab it up top is going to be a little bit different. But usually you want to mirror the exact same grab. So if one hand is an overhand grip, underhand grip, or thumb grip, the other hand kind of mirrors it the same. Um, like I said, I'm not going to focus too much on, on how much you grab it, just essentially right now I just want you to practice on grabbing it. We might get more detail later, or you can just kind of fool around and see how many different ways you can add rotations and take away. There's one more part to this move, and this is just adding a little bit of flair. Uh, it's a very simple flair too, actually. If you're just doing a pinwheel like this, this is nice. But if you start leaning your body towards the direction of the spin, so wherever the center of the staff is, if you just kind of stand very straight, feet are slightly longer than shoulder width apart, and the side that has the staff, if you can imagine that this is almost kind of following the staff as it goes across, I'm going to put my shoulders a little bit more into it. Do you see how I'm turning off to the side here? I'm very straight here, and I'm turning off to the side here, and I start leaning towards that direction. This will actually give it a very good effect. So here's number one without that effect. And here's number two with it. So there you go, the pinwheel.